I'm Don Nelson here. Your headlines, a pilot program underway at the Boise Police Department is hoping to help people facing opioid addiction by offering them treatment rather than jail time. We first told you about the program in the fall of 2018 when officers were finalizing details and now some of those participants are successfully completing the program. It uses federal funding to put low level offenders into drug treatment programs rather than charge them with crimes and put them behind bars. If they meet that criteria and they're willing or wanting help, then we offer them the, that opportunity to right then and there go to Recovery for Life um, and raise the bottom. Um, and then we take those char whatever charges that we would have on them and we hold those. And if they successfully complete that program, then we route those charges to file and so that they never have to worry about those charges if they successfully complete that program. Not everyone qualifies for the program, though. Ahead in tonight's Finding Hope, our Karen Lair breaks down the details of what police say they're learning about addiction as they aim to help those in the community who need it the most. Now, Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval with the On Your Side forecast. Sunshine with a few clouds out there today. A view from the Grove Hotel shows the partly cloudy sky. Looks nice. It's still a little bit of a breeze, although it's not as strong as it was yesterday. Your sunrise at 719, sunsets at 636. But don't forget, we'll be changing our clocks ahead this weekend. So that sunset will be getting closer to 736 and 740. And next thing you know, the sun will be up until 8 o'clock at night. But right now, 48 degrees and that breeze northwest about 10 miles per hour. It'll still be a chilly night tonight. And it's mildest in the western valley, as we would expect. 52 in Ontario. Temperatures in the 30s in the higher elevations, 45 degrees in the Twin Falls area right now. Winds, although out of the northwest, lighter winds up towards Ontario at 10 miles per hour. We've got a winds 10 to 15 when you go, especially south of the interstate and towards the Snake River. It's a little bit breezier and breezier down towards Mountain Home Pine with wind gusts to 22 miles per hour. That wind will eventually settle down and it will be less breezy during the day tomorrow, but we still have some sunshine showing up in the forecast. Satellite picture shows no major storms coming in. No big weather pattern shift, but what we do have shifting is the temperatures and we're going to see a warming trend right through the week. So today we're in the upper 40s tomorrow, mid 50s. So milder tomorrow, partly cloudy. Wednesday looks amazing at 59 degrees with sunshine. And how about this 67 Thursday, 68. That means somebody could touch 70 degrees during the day on Friday with a low temperature Friday at 43. And a cold front will come through and that'll drop our temperature down 10 degrees and there is a slight chance of rain. We're going to cool things down a little bit more over the weekend. So enjoy the upcoming week with the milder temperatures and I'll have another update coming up right here.